If we would like to understand the details of Apache Hadoop Ozone, we need a tool which can answer a very important question at any time. This question is shared between the distributed software, distributed system engineers and uh, philosophers in the last few thousand years. And it's a very simple question actually. What's going on? This video, video we will check the Ozone Insight tool, which can be used to answer this question at any time and can be used to investigate the internal state of an ozone cluster. So when we are talking about the observability, usually multiple tools are mentioned under the observability group, like the distributed tracing, the log collections, the metrics. Related to ozone inside, we will talk about the logs and metrics and configuration. Configuration is usually not categorized as an observability problem, but if you have ever tried to understand all of the configuration, especially the problematic configuration uh, of a complex distributed system like Hadoop, then you can understand that it's, it's very important to correlate the configuration problems with, with any other problems. So let's talk about logging metrics and configuration. And here the real challenge actually is not collecting the information. It's, it's very, very simple to turn on the debug level for all of the logging. But does it really help? Well, it just prints out a lot of information, but it still doesn't help to answer the question that what is the problem? So the real challenge is to structure the information, not to collect the information. We have a lot of information, but we need exactly the pro info, exactly the information which can help us to, to solve uh, the problem. So let's check an ozone cluster. Here I have a running ozone cluster inside mm, Docker containers. In the last videos, we, we discussed the main components. So we have Ozone Manager and Storage Container Merger, the two metadata server, and uh, we have the data nodes, which store the data. Here I have uh, two other services, the Recon, which is something like a web UI and prediction service, and SRG, which is a REST API to expose all of the data via AWS compatible S3 interface. So I have this cluster and let's log into the SCM for example. Uh, compose exec. Okay. So here I have this awesome inside tool. I have multiple options. You can see the list, the log, uh, the, the log metrics and the configs. Okay, we have a list. What is this? Here, we can see different type of categories, which can be used to, to check the, the state of the systems. For example, if I choose log, then I can check the node manager. So SCM is one service and inside the service there are multiple, multiple subcomponents, which does some kind of work. So the node manager seems to be something which manages the, the state of the node. So it can be interesting what's going on on under the food. So just like let's check the, the log. So here we will see only the logs from the node manager. In Ozone there is a heartbeat which is once per every 30 seconds. So it's not a very frequent heartbeat. But here we can see that okay we received a heartbeat from the Ozone data node 2, data node 3 and hopefully after a while we will see the data node 1 as well. But okay, this is a high level. We know that the message is arrived because the debug level log is visible here just for this specific component. But what about if I interested what, what is this node report? So there is a verbose flag what I can use. And this is more than just debug. This is actually a trace level. So 
This command can be used from, from any node. It can connect to the real component and you can see that, okay, this is trace level. There is a heartbeat which is received and the storage report part of the heartbeat contains exactly this information from, from the data node one. Okay, let's go forward. Let's check what do we have on inside list. Okay, this replica manager I, seems to be connected to the replication calculation if something is missing. So let's try to inside, let's try to check the configuration of this one. So there are hundreds of configuration inside Apache Hadoop Ozone, but here you can see only the rel related configurations, the current value and default value, and some documentation related to this specific configuration. So it seems that the replication state is checked once per every five minutes, and there is some retry me mechanism which is used by the replication manager. If something is ordered from the data node, then it will be retried after 30 minutes if the result is not reported back okay what else do we have here well we have some kind of metrics so in, try to list what do we was on inside metrics and let's check what's in the node manager metrics oh okay so we actually this is a older cluster you can see that we have a lot of heartbeats which are processed nothing has been failed and we have three hg data nodes so this is the matrix okay very nice so let's try to check another other so there are two type of uh, inside points one is just related to a very low level component inside the one of the ozone services the other one is, is a protocol. So for example, the Ozo Manager protocol, this is something which can be related to the to the remote pr procedure called some RPC call. So it, I'm very interested what is this Ozone inside. Uh, let's check with log and with variables. So we will see all of the messages. So, and I need another client Oh, we already have some clients. Oh, this is actually this is the recon who connects to the Ozone Manager. So let's do some reveal. Ozone SAH volume. I'm creating the volume, which is the top level object inside a hierarchy. Mm, create wall 3. Oh, so here we can see the responses and the requests. and. Oh, there is something very interesting. So first of all, it starts with a generic service list endpoint. So the client learns all of the host names and ports from the OM, at least in this uh, protocol. Okay, this is the response, right? So this is service list response. And after that, here I have the create volume request where these are the parameters i'm requesting to create the volume some echoes creation type very nice and this is the response so it's a very powerful tool to to check what what is under the hood all of the messages all of the internal now messages the content of the rpc calls can be found you can also use these these properties to filter out so if you are interested only about the create volume messages you can just add a filter to the ozone inside too okay one other question is just how how can it work what is it exactly well it's a very very simple tool actually because all of the required information uh, is already exposed we are just structuring it so in each of the Ozone services, we have an HTTP server with some specific servlets. So you can access all of the, let's say I have this uh, endpoint here. Okay, this is the SCM, simple web, web endpoint. And similar to the Hadoop, we have different type of uh, endpoints. This is the log level, we can just uh, set the log level here, or we can check the 
matrix. This is in Prometheus compatible format, so Prometheus can download all of the required uh, metrics from here. We can also check the configuration. This is also a standard Hadoop servlet. The log stream is something which can print out all of the all of the logs, but it's harder to see from here because it's just streaming. You can see that it's downloading. So the Ozone Insight tool is nothing more, just some configuration of uh, of predefined rule sets. That what are the interesting interesting metrics, log classes and configuration for some specific topics, right? like the protocol or, or some internal components. And, and under the hood, it just connects all to the log log. Yeah, there is some very simple logic to identify the host name of the services. And after that, it can connect to the servlets and just uh, collect all of the information real time but it can be very useful to to understand the current state or debug something uh, on the server some specific aspect without uh, without seeing all of the noise from all of the parts of the system hope it will it was helpful and in the next video we will use this tool to to understand that what is what are the details of the read path and and write path